uh, my employer's view, uh, I, I think the models for 4G are completely broken. With every line of the voice calls they make, minute by minute, we can itemize it. Yet for data, all we have is one giant block, $59.99. You have these buffet consumers uh, who basically you know, take undue advantage of the network. So you've got service substitution, you have this unbridled traffic growth, and then you've got user pricing expectations of really uh, setting the agenda for how operators are gonna are gonna have to look at monetizing the network. You know, the iPhone, bring it on. Bring it to this bring it to the 4G network that we have. We're being drawn into by these data hungry devices and all these great services and data consumption, and now we're told, well, it's not all you can eat anymore. You have to start paying for it in some sort of a tiered, a tiered rate because the network can't handle it. Nobody really, I think, knew what the iPhone meant for the industry. The bigger problem that I'd like you to address is burdening the subscriber as the only source of revenue in this business model. You're not buying a subscription from a carrier. You're buying access to whatever that end-to-end -end device enables. If the car manufacturer signs up for a $2 a month plan for 24 months or for the life of the car, now it's a two-sided business model. So the carrier is not only making money from the end user, it's making the money from a toaster maker, a microwave maker, or car maker. Yeah, I think we're going to see a flurry of tablets, you know, after the iPad uh, uh, launch. So the ability to uh, monitor that device and to update the software on that device if it needs to be um, and to do it over the air is definitely something that service providers, whether it's the operator or one of these new M2M -M service providers, can offer the, their enterprise customers. I think, if anything, the, the whole craze of, um, of the iPhone and the App Store hopefully um, caused operators worldwide to adopt the Boy Scout motto, which is be prepared. And, uh, again, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, and thanks for our panel members, too, for some great insight. Thanks a lot, guys. I think these events are absolutely critical as we carry forward this whole 4G message. And so these types of events do two things. It, it educates people, but then it also makes sure that we're clearing up any of the misconceptions that are out there about 4G as well. It's a great networking event. I actually learned a lot from the other panelists and uh, some of the audience and members, so um, I'll be coming again. Yeah, this has been a great event, yeah, and I, I'm really appreciative of being asked to be on the panel. Uh, we had a fantastic turnout and lots of networking going on, so if, if you get a chance to go to a, an RCR local event in your hometown, you definitely should go because it was worthwhile.